Good morning and welcome. It's 10:15 on January 10th, 2017. That's uh, Eastern Standard Time. I live in Florida, the United States. So if you're watching this video right now, thanks for stopping by. Um, it's really interesting stuff going on uh, with earthquakes. I don't know um, that I necessarily make predictions. I would call them more of a forecast. When I think of the term prediction, I think of like prophecy or um, you know, like tarot card reading or something like that. Not that I doubt that people have the ability to prophesy. So let me just get that straight. I don't consider these uh, forecast warnings and updates as predictions. So, um, you know, a lot of times people say, man, you predicted that spot on. Well, it's not really a prediction. This is based on scientific data and uh, archived history of earthquakes that you can find right over here on the USGS. Anybody can have access to it at least for now uh, you know they're gonna eventually control the internet I know call me a crazy conspiracy guy and I don't have a tinfoil hat on but I should because <laughs> I totally believe they're gonna try to limit our access to information through the internet soon enough but anyway while we can anybody can go over here to the USGS and you can go through their archives and you can look at earthquakes and data and you can do your own research but I did some research on my own after a few years back I watched a guy by the name of Dutch since and this guy uh, came up with a model for forecasting earthquakes and it's really actually quite simple it did take me a little bit of time to kind of understand what was going on and and comprehend everything and take notes but I really believe anybody with a high school diploma can do this what you want to look for are large deep earthquakes large deep earthquakes produce large shallow earthquakes now a large deep earthquake is this in my definition is this way anything that's over a magnitude of four which all of these recent earthquakes over the last 24 hours are a magnitude of higher than four and at a depth of at least 300 kilometers so this particular earthquake that happened in the Philippines around three o'clock this morning while we were sleeping I had warned about a few days earlier because of a previous large deep earthquake way over here near Fiji that happened several days ago. And that large deep earthquake was a 4.9. It wasn't as big as this, but it produced this right here. And so it went up significantly. So, so there's some serious um, seismological stuff going on down underneath the Earth's crust. The reason why a large deep earth, uh, earthquake is important is because the depth, 612 kilometers right here, that puts that origination of this earthquake in an area called the asthenosphere. And I'm actually going to try to show it to you right here. Um, just give me a second to get to where I need to get to. Bear with me. I'm going to take a look at this right here. Look at the structure of the earth. This is a pretty neat little thing right here. It opens everything up. So in here you have the core. Now science says that it's a solid metal ball essentially. I don't believe that. Uh, I've done enough research and listened to enough other people. Uh, I'm convinced that this, this is actually plasma energy and it works its way up to the surface. You know like them Tesla globes that you put your hands on in high school science class and kind of had like looking like lightning inside similar activity it comes up out here to the surface so this is the earth's crust it doesn't look very thick on here because it isn't in comparison to the whole globe or earth but here's the earth's crust and then in here is all the magma all of the molten uh, mineral and everything that's down in here this area right in here that sits just underneath the plate that literally our land rests on top of like an eggshell is an area called the asthenosphere and so when these large deep earthquakes originate down in the asthenosphere they produce large shallow earthquakes because they travel up through the plate boundaries these are called plate boundaries they separate all the different plates it travels up through through the earth's crust to the surface and produce larger shallower earthquakes and so this particular earthquake right here is going to cause anywhere from a say an 8.3 to even a 9.3 <coughs> somewhere over the next three four or five days 
in most likely in the areas that haven't been struck lately up in here to Japan uh, over here in the Indonesian islands you got Sumatra right there Papua New Guinea in between these earthquakes the original one a few days ago happened right around here that pressure transferred and, and there's been a few earthquakes right here in New Zealand already but uh, it eventually worked its way over here for whatever reason and erupted with a 7.3 while we were talking here uh, pressure over here has started on South America I'm going to zoom in and show you guys something if you haven't seen my other videos all along the plate the Pacific plate there are there are these plate boundaries but then there are fracture zones and you can kind of see them here they run across laterally and so that pressure will also not only go to the west like it did and pop up with a big earthquake in the Philippines after several days it'll transfer itself all the way over here and wind up here on the coast of South America um, even up here near Colombia and Central America Mexico and then it'll go up north like this it'll travel up in here this is Kamchatka, Russia these are the Aleutian Island chains in Alaska by the way several volcanoes spewing ash into the uh, atmosphere all week after this earthquake in fact several volcanoes have all become active all along the ring of fire after that large deep earthquake several days ago so this is a large deep earthquake it's going to produce more of the same but in bigger magnitudes and and more intensity and frequency all along this whole entire area it's going to take several days for it to transfer over here it's going to take several days for it to transfer over here but we're already starting to see activity this earthquake happened just just a little while ago in hot springs alaska so this earthquake is not enough, um, you know, close enough to the surface to bring any tsunamis, so there's not a big deal there. Most people probably just felt some shaking, but it was a big earthquake. It's just it was way down deep in the asthenosphere underneath the Earth's crust, so people don't really think much about it. But the fact of the matter is, this is exactly the earthquake that causes mega quakes. Eights, nines, uh, you know, I can't even imagine what a, a, a 9.0 would do to any of these areas that have already been hit so many times before the pressure is going to also go over the next several days up through Indonesia it's going to come up here near uh, Nepal Burma Myanmar it's going to work its way over here into Romania parts of Russia and China it's also going to pop up with earthquakes over here in Iran and Iraq and then it'll go to Turkey and Greece and ultimately Italy and then finally it'll wind its way out here and expend itself near the mid-atlantic ridge really crazy weird earthquake up here not sure what to think about it you don't really see them up here but that was a pretty pretty good sized earthquake um, uh, there was one a few days prior that in the exact same area that was a deep earthquake and this is likely a result from that large deep earthquake now with a large shallow earthquake at only 15 kilometers so where this pressure is going to transfer to is a mystery um, there's not been enough data that's how rare this is to even figure out what trajectory or uh, transfer of pressure is likely to go to my suspicion is it's going to come down in here somewhere down in this area um, I think you got Nova Scotia Newfoundland that kind of area Maine um, but this whole side don't be surprised if you see some rare earthquake activity happening over here um, pressure is going to transfer over here to Northern California, Oregon border. Looking for a five or six to happen over the next few days there. But this area right here, guys, this is where it's at. It's going to be some big movement here, here, and here over the next several days. So I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Please share it uh, with anybody that you know that may be in an affected area. You don't think it has much to do with you, but eventually it will. When a large deep earthquake happens, it produces large shallow earthquakes, and it eventually comes over here. So just because we live in America does not mean that this all the way over here does not affect us. I appreciate you guys checking this out. I hope you'll share the video, and I hope you have a great day. If anything happens during the day, I may come back and make another video. So be sure to keep your eyes out for that.